Hi, this is Sean Carney, the President and CEO of 40 Days for Life. With the overturning of Roe versus Wade, uh, we need to expect that this is going to go back to where it matters most, which is in the grassroots. A few weeks ago on the vlog, I shared the two important numbers in a post-Roe world. Uh, number one, 75%. The former Planned Parenthood workers tell us that uh, the no-show rate for an abortion appointment goes as high as 75% when you are out there peacefully praying. The other number is 45% of the 104 abortion facilities that 40 Days for Life has closed in the United States of America. 45% of them were in blue states, pro-abortion states where abortion will remain legal. That means that, as Alito said in his opinion, when the court hands abortion back to America, you're America, you have a role, you can impact if abortion ends in America for good. And that doesn't mean just like lobbying your state legislators. You, some of y'all will need to do that in states where it's legal, but more importantly, going out to the sidewalks and winning this battle, working with our friends at the crisis pregnancy centers that now outnumber abortion providers five to one. You've got to get out there. There is no more offense. We've seen that the last few weeks with the uh, insanity since the leak uh, of this decision. And so I want to encourage you, applications to lead a 40 Days for Life campaign, which would be the most important 40 Days for Life campaign in our history, for sure. Uh, they are open. And I want to encourage you to lead, particularly in a few areas where we will really, really need it. Planned Parenthood abortion referral centers. I predict that they will try to keep as many of those open, even in abortion-free states. Abortion referral centers, centers where uh, they do the RU486 abortion pill. Uh, 40 Days for Life years ago made a strategic effort to get more campaigns in front of those locations because it just kills their business. And of course, they're referring their local abortions to uh, a, a larger facility a few hours away. So if you have a referral center, also in states where it will not be decided and it will go uh, either way, you know who you are, be sure that you bring 40 Days for Life to those states. Do a 40 Days for Life 365, which we're going to try to get uh, as many year-round vigils through 40 Days for Life 365 uh, in those states that still uh, have abortion. Because I do not think that the momentum on the other side will last at the grass roots level. We can still use those two numbers, the 75% no-show rate and the 45% of facilities that have closed have been in abortion supporting states. It becomes very market driven. And we know that with prayer, with fasting, and with the intercession of the Holy Spirit, we can close abortion facilities, but you gotta do it. And so this is the month of June. Applications to lead are open. If you've never led a campaign, uh, strongly discern whether you're being called to do so at this moment in history. And our prayer is, of course, that for many 40 Days for Life locations, this will be, or for some anyways, it will be their last campaign because their clinics would close. But I don't trust the abortion industry to implement some of these laws. And so we are going to have to be in full swing uh, in the fall after they've overturned Roe versus Wade. Uh, because some of these abortion facilities are still going to try to do uh, abortions. That's just going to be the reality. And we need to be there and we need to be uh, offering hope and we need to be reporting them. And so uh, I want to encourage you. It's June. It's an exciting time <laughs> to be pro-life. I've had so many people reach out to me and say, I never thought I would see the overturning of Roe v. Wade in my lifetime. And that is not a historic event to observe and say, well, that was really neat. I'm going to tell my grandkids about it. It's an invitation to do something and be part of making America abortion free so that the world can follow. So go to 40daysforlife.com and apply uh, to, to lead a 365 campaign. If you're a current campaign leader, uh, apply to lead a 40 Days for Life campaign if you've never done it before. Uh, but something everybody can do if you're not up for, for leading uh, is to get trained in our Sidewalk Outreach program. It is $29. It comes with a copy of the book What to Say When, which is a, good, a great start uh, for knowing how to discuss abortion. And it also comes with a t-shirt. So you'll be all set to uh, respond to women who want help and, and who want to choose life or who have questions about abortion. 
It will also train you on how to speak to abortion facility workers. Uh, and I know that big time because you never know when they're going to uh, pop in and say that they want help or question their job. And I predict a massive exodus out of the abortion industry in the next few months. It's already a miserable place to work. They have a lot of loons on their side advocating their opinion for them. The workers don't like that insanity. And I think we're going to see a lot of them reach out and want help. So be equipped with the sidewalk outreach training. All of this uh, can be found at 40daysforlife.com and you can learn more uh, through about 40 Days for Life University, the 365 program and the sidewalk outreach. It's one of the reasons we launched 40 Days for Life Univer University. Uh, that's at 40daysforlife.com slash university. But do something. Shame on us if we don't take more action this summer with history being made. Be part of making history. Don't just watch it uh, being made from afar because this is a time to act, to get involved, and to pray like never before so that we can make America abortion free. God bless you.